Hi, I'm Kate of KHG Arts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Quaker stitch. I chose this stitch for my first video because it's so useful, yet difficult to find information on. The Quaker stitch was developed in the 1980s by a Quaker woman named Anne Wynne Wilson. She led the creation of the Quaker tapestry, and in doing so created this stitch that combines split and stem. It takes the curves of tight lettering really well because it has the split stitch which sits on the bottom. Here it is with this braided look here which provides really nice pivot points while on the top and from the other side you can see the stem stitch which provides a lovely smooth finish. On their own neither of these stitches has a lot of height but together you get this raised effect that gives a nice 3D element to the stitch. To start the Quaker stitch, we're going to be bringing the needle up from the back of the hoop. And we're going to start with a very small stitch, about half the length that you normally would use. Okay? Now instead of bringing our needle up in front of it, like we normally would do, we are actually going to bring our needle up right in that same spot we did in the first place, okay? Once you've got that, pull all the way. And now we're going to go back down right in front of that stitch. Okay? As I pull, I'm going to leave a loop on the top. So I'm not going to pull all the way. I'm going to leave that loop and let it sit to the side. Again, I need, need to bring my needle back up. And this time I'm going to come into the original first stitch and split it. So this is my split stitch that's going to sit hidden underneath. My stem stitch, which is what this loop becomes that wraps over the top. Okay, so we can see the stem stitch here on this side. If you look to this side, you can see the braided effect that the split stitch gives. So, in order to keep going, this is what we're going to do. We keep moving ahead of where our last stitch was. We pull until we have a loop. Pass that over to the side with your thumb. And again, we come up into the end of our last stitch split that stitch, pull, and let that loop cover it, and that's what your stem is. Now remember you always want to come, um, whichever side of that loop you come up on, keep it consistent so that you have that nice consistent twisted stem. Again, down in front of the last stitch, pull till you have a loop, push it to the side, when you bring your needle up, you're going to split the end of your last stitch, pull, and there you have it. So here again is the finished Quaker stitch. You can always push it to one side as you finish to get it to stand up nice and straight. There we go. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments below, or you can visit my website, www.khgarts.com.